Yar and stuff. For those of you who are wondering, why all the LEGO videos? Where's the Nerf stuff? Well, I have several major Nerf projects that I'm working on right now, but they've all stalled for lack of parts. So, I'm working on LEGO in the meantime. For those of you who are wondering, why all the pirate stuff? What happened to the castle? I'm waiting for parts. Uh, I've almost finished the complete village um, landscape rebuild. I'm just waiting for one last shipment of brown parts so I can finish the new river. Uh, once that is done, I will do a video uh, doing the update on the current state of the village. I don't remember what was the last one I did. I've done a lot of updates since the last video, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we're going to continue with the pirate builds today. I've got two more pirate islands that both involve a skull of some kind, so they seemed fitting. Uh, we're going to start with... Volcano Island, which is a really neat one. Uh, Volcano Island is from the third generation of pirate, I believe, when they switched from uh, British or French-looking fellows and went to Spanish-looking. They had an Armada series with Conquistador helmets and uh, Conquistador-style clothing, which I thought was really, really cool, actually. Um, having that third faction of uh, kind of imperial types uh, or antagonists to the pirates. Protagonists? It depends on whose side you're on. Uh, when I was young, I always liked the Imperial Guard better than the pirates. I always had the pirates lose. Uh, and then I finally got my hands on the Black Seas Barracuda, and everything changed. Uh, never got much into the Conquistador stuff. I didn't like the design of the ships, where they were designed to fall apart and have battle damage and all of that. I thought that was hokey and it just looked like poorly designed sets, in my opinion. Uh, especially compared to, you know, the solid nature of the Black Seas Barracuda, but... Uh, that was definitely just me, really, my personal opinions on that. But they had some neat sets, and the Volcano Island is one of them, so let's build it! <laughs> from the era, like I said, of the Conquistador pirate, so he had the little dead Conquistador uh, in his Morian helmet. And this was also an era where they were big on having Lego sets do interesting spring-loaded things. So in this case, uh, there's a little pin in the back of the set that when you pull it out, you pull this pin, uh, the volcano erupts and shoots little bits of fire on a dead conquistador around the room. Which is, I think, kind of neat that they did things like that. Some of the stuff I really liked, like this, I thought it was a neat set, but making the pirate ship design so that the masts fell over, I wasn't a huge fan of that because I think it just made for a flimsy design. Um, but, yeah, that's me personally. This one also came with a little raft, a little pirate dude on it. Uh, and like I said, uh, well actually I don't think I mentioned it. You may have noticed that I have built it on an island base plate, and the original set did not come with that, but the 8x16 blue plate is currently being used in my castle, and I didn't feel like tearing it out to build this, and I think it looks good on the little island. So, there you have it. Neat little volcano island with a skull. Don't ask me why there's a giant skull on it. That makes absolutely no sense at all, but uh, I think it was a neat little set. So, on to the next one. The next set is also an island with a big skull on it. Uh, this one is going to be, uh, Skull Island. How very creative. And this was one that I didn't have as a child, but it inspired a, a great fantasy in me of a huge pirate base somewhere that I always wanted to build, but never had the parts to build. Um, and it was, a, I always refer to it as Pirate's Lagoon, and I always pictured it as this huge pirate base made out of shipwrecked ships. Um, which was long before Pirates of the Caribbean came out. I don't remember where I got the idea. I think it was a movie called Blackbeard's Ghost, but I, I won't swear to that. I know there was something that I saw where there was a pirate base made out of shipwrecked pirates years before any of the modern stuff came out. This is back in the 90s, um, and that was the image in the back of my head, and I never quite got around to truly building it. That is kind of the long-term goal here. Uh, but that's going to be fairly long term because I'm going to need a lot more parts than I currently have if I want to build it the way I see it in my head. Uh, but that would be a lot of fun and that is, like I said, the long term goal. But this will be a starting point. This will be part of the initial base that I build and then they'll just get built on and on and on and it will be fantastic. So let's go build Skull Island. <laughs>
is Skull Island. Happily named, of course. Now this is one that I, like I said, I always wanted this one. I thought it looked awesome. I liked the color scheme. I liked the design. I liked that it had the, the dock for docking your ships at. Came with rowboats in both colors. Got some good guys and some bad guys, which is something I, once again, thought was cool. The number of minifigs you got. You got six minifigs with this set. It has a working crane. Now this is one of the parts that I I don't have. This crane piece is supposed to be in black, and I've used red because I didn't I couldn't find it in black. I might have it, but couldn't find it. So, but it actually does raise things, which is nifty. The skull slides to the side to allow you to pass into it, which is just groovy. Suppose if you really wanted to get fancy. You could actually use the crane. To raise the skull. Which would be neat. That looks like you caught a fish. But, uh, what else do they have that's kind of neat? In the uh, upper deck here, kind of the captain's little area, there is a, trap, a door that swings up to reveal extra weapons, a pistol and a sword, which I think is just a neat idea. Uh, once again, lots of extra weapons. They have a pair of muskets that are firing out from uh, kind of behind this little shrub section, which is a neat idea. Uh, one design feature that I have no idea why they went with. This piece of shrub is being held in place by a hammer. No idea why. Probably because they had too many hammer pieces or somebody just really wanted there to be more Lego hammers in circulation. No idea. Um, came with a swivel cannon um, and all the old pirate sets came with extra ammunition, these little little one stud barrels, uh, because the old cannons, if you go back far enough, used to fire. They actually were spring-loaded, you pull back, release, and they'd fire. And apparently that was considered too dangerous, so they switched to this style, which didn't wasn't spring-loaded. You pulled it back and you flicked it to make it fire. And apparently that was also too dangerous, so they got rid of firing cannons altogether for a couple of generations. And now they're back to firing cannons again, so uh, who knows. One other feature that I really like about this set, from a, a personal standpoint, is they've actually gone to the trouble to make sure that there are ladders that actually lead all the way to the top. Which is something you don't see in the Imperial sets. There's actually no way to get up into the towers other than just, you know, flying. But this one actually has ladders that go all the way up. And I think that's just a nice little design feature that you often don't see in uh, a lot of LEGO sets. They don't, they don't take into account that sort of detail, but I appreciate it. So, there you have it. A pair of Skull Island sets, which I think are pretty neat and I think they go well together. Uh, despite being from different generations, this was second generation pirate, this was third generation pirate, um, but a skull's a skull. So, these will probably find some way of getting into my big diorama. The uh, volcanic island will probably just be an island that's out in the middle. It'll also get massively upgraded eventually. We'll see where I go with that. But I like the idea of the, the volcano that actually erupts. That's neat. And this is just such a neat looking structure that it will definitely have some place in my big diorama. Not sure where yet, but definitely gonna get in there somewhere. So stay tuned for that. Once parts arrive, I will be building the big pirate uh, base. Um, there were a couple of specialty parts that I knew I didn't have, so I ordered them, and hopefully I have all the rest of the parts. We'll find out. Um, but I should. They're the only ones that I knew I didn't, I ordered. There might be a few that I'll have to do in different colors, but I'm sort of fine with that. Um, but if I have to order more parts, I will, and it'll just get delayed a little bit. So hopefully all the parts that I'm waiting on will arrive, and I'll be able to get back to doing the big nerf projects that I'm sure you're all looking forward to seeing, uh, in addition to some little ones that I've been working on. I'm hopefully going to finish up uh, one of my remaining commissions today. It's going to be gorgeous if I can get it to look the way it should um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, requests for things you'd like to build, especially in the old pirate lines, if there are any old pirate stuff that I haven't built, go ahead and uh, send those to me and I'll look into building them. And uh, thank you for watching.